Hello folks, welcome. Manjaro KDE Plasma version 6. I just upgraded from 5 to 6. And uh, today is August 27th and I'm going to talk about having a little fun by spicing up your desktop. We can talk about wallpapers, panel bar, or even toys. And this one is fully interactive, including the sun and the rings on the outside. And it has all kinds of settings. So you can actually see the time ticking. So more importantly, speaking of, subscription key is in the corner, 400 plus videos and growing. So it's been a while since I did a video on Manjaro. But today I'm going to talk about you having a little bit of fun with your desktop. Again, filming in 1080. So bring in those photos from that recent trip that you loved. Or possibly the uh, family members' photos. There's nothing better than uh, having a picture staring you in the face of a friendly face. Maybe a pet or friends, again, friends, pets, family members. You can always, uh, if you are storing those photos in a cloud, just download them. Or at least one or two. Spice up your desktop. I get constant messages about certain distributions having boring wallpapers. Well, do something about that. You can always change those things. We can also talk about the panel itself. You can see mine is actually floating. You can see ice underneath it, in other words. So we can right click and hit the edit mode. There's all kinds of options. Okay, I'm gonna close that. We can also change the Manjaro icon if you like, or even add text. That's very simple. Right click, configure. But I will talk about some rules that you need to think about when you change icons because the developers also use those kind of rules. So you can put a label down here. You can call it Mary's computer, Bob's computer, my stuff, whatever you want to put for text. The longer this text label is, though, you do lose a little bit of real estate because this panel is only, only so long. Okay. Let's talk about this icon, which is normally the Manjaro icon. You can certainly pick stuff from the system. There's a whole slew of icons you can pick. If you decide to use your own custom icons, let me talk about a couple of, well, tips that I would uh, highly think about. Because anytime that you change icons, it's just like when the developers create distributions, they also have a location that they store these things. To give you an example, the USR share icons folder is where you find this mouse pointer this mouse cursor, and a lot of things. So and that folder is protected by root permissions. Now, if you decide to use your own custom icons, so let me make that folder bigger for you. All right, first of all, um, you see that blue cube there? That's a planet just like one of these. Uh, but it's too small to see in this arrangement there. But if you are the type that creates icons, and I used GIMP to create that one, um, but there are other tools out there, then you can uh, put them in a folder. Or you can find icons online that you can download if you want to substitute that one or many others. I'm just talking about this icon today. So I'm trying to make it not too long. But whatever the, the, whatever you do, uh, once you start using one or more icons anywhere in the system, I don't care what menu or wherever, do not rename the folder after you use one or more. Okay, you can see all those icons are flashing right now. And one of them was in there earlier that has this one here. But you don't want to rename that and you don't want to rename the icon that you're currently using. And the reason for that is when you reboot your system, or shut off your computer and power it back up, you won't get a blank because your system needs to find that icon based on the location you saved. It's everything is located somewhere. That's how these return every time you reboot, as an example. Nobody thinks about these little things, but something to do when you're doing custom icons. And that's all I'm gonna say on that and move forward. If you're interested in widgets, I will uh, put that there. This widget is highly configurable. It even's got transparency levels. I'll move this back. 
and again it's totally interactive. You can actually literally click on these planets and our sun and again you can spin the rings too. But more importantly what is this thing called? All right. Since I upgraded from plasma 5 to 6 and uh, and today's date again is August 27, 2024. I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but I actually had to delete the old one of these, the Timekeeper Revolution previous icon, uh, after I upgraded from five to six was black, and I had to actually uninstall it. And then I went and found new widgets, and I think there are three of these in there. Very short and sweet video. Have a little fun with your desktop. Again, wallpapers is one thing, widgets and toys are another, and also custom icons. Don't forget about that panel. You can also do some adjustments there, or even move the panel to the top if you like. Thank you for watching.